will you build around at center, Garion? I'm going to go with DeAndre Ayton at $8,200. Uh, this Lakers roster is just completely decimated by health and safety protocols and injury right now. Really, the only true big they have left is the husk of DeAndre Jordan, who had to play over 20 minutes in their loss to Chicago on Sunday. I just don't see that being a, uh, a recipe for success against DeAndre Ayton, who was actually able to put up a 15.15 rebound double-double in under 24 minutes against the Hornets this past weekend. Three straight double-doubles for Ayton. He's averaging almost 1.2 DraftKings points per minute for the season as a whole. He should just absolutely dominate the interior of this Lakers defense. So I like his price point just above $8,000. All right, Matt, you agree? Yeah, the Lakers defense is missing their two best defensive players. Like Arian said, it's Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard also not there. And I'm not even sure that DeAndre Jordan even sticks in the game much at center. Um, they didn't play him really much at all in the second half of last game. So they may be running a lineup where it's like LeBron or Carmelo or Trevor Ariza playing center. It's a really good matchup. But uh, aside from Aiton, I do want to point out that Damian Lillard is questionable tonight. And if he doesn't play, that just makes everyone look better on Portland. So I'm going to keep coming back to this as we go through the different positions. But Yusuf Nurkic, even though he's not even close to the same position that Lillard is, is just going to have a lot more to do in terms of ball handling responsibility if you don't have Dame there. So Nurkic could be a really good play if we don't have Lillard playing tonight. Okay, Ryan, who are you going to build around at center? Yeah, I love the thought of picking on the Lakers. That, that gets me really excited. Uh, I'll go different here, though. I'll go Jonas Valanciunas at 8,300 versus Portland, who does not care about getting any stops any night. Uh, the Pelicans are off a canceled game, so they're plenty rested. Um, lately, he's been playing the mid upper 30s in minutes, and last game he played 40 minutes. And his ceiling is just so high for me to pass up. He had 70.8 DraftKings points one night this season. I just love rostering Jonas Valanciunas, and I love this matchup.